But the hopes and dreams of Project Yuzu ever being part of EVO or the big house or being used in any major tournament is done. It's gone. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, it's your boy X and we've got a major problem Smash Ultimate community. We gotta help our brethren, our sisterin, the Melee community out. If you guys don't know, the Big House was gonna host an online tournament for Melee and Ultimate, but the Melee being a 2001 Nintendo GameCube game has no sort of online functionality, which the community had made their own called Project Slippy, which is basically rollback netcode for a 2001 GameCube game that would have never had an online feature if it wasn't for the community and the love the community has for the game. And for those of you who don't know, basically rollback is like one of the best forms of online experiences you can get in terms of a fighting game. Basically Smash Ultimate and Smash 4's online experiences doesn't even come close to how good Project Slippy feels. It basically feels like it's not even online. That's how good it is. The Melee community has been surviving this COVID pandemic because as we know, Melee does not have an online feature, but again, they worked around it. And of course, Nintendo files a cease and desist on the big house saying, we don't want you to stream this modded version of Melee. We know you hate Melee. But damn, we didn't know you hated it this much. I'm getting real sick and tired of, of Nintendo always saying how much they care about the community, how much they want to sponsor the community. Oh, look at this. Uh, Smash Ultimate had this amount of numbers for, for EVO. Oh, uh, Melee is still alive and kicking after 15 years. We, we love you guys. But then you guys show your second face and show how, how much you hate this community. How much you want this community to die. And I want to let you guys know, for the Smash Ultimate community, I know because that's how many, mostly the people that have subscribed to me are from the Smash Ultimate community. Why should you care, right? Why should you care? Well, I'm going to let you know one thing. I'm pretty sure a lot of you were introduced to Smash back when Melee was released in 2001. And maybe you didn't get into the competitive scene until 2013 when Melee crawled out of the depths of heck to join EVO. And at that time, and funny enough, Nintendo also filed a cease and desist on EVO, so that way Melee isn't streamed. But the community pushed forward and made Nintendo back down with their tail between their legs. So I'm pretty sure your first EVO experience for Smash was also probably 2013 Melee. And if it wasn't, maybe the thing that got you into the competitive scene was the Melee documentary. I don't know, that's part of the reason why I became a, a Marf main. I wanted to be like Ken. I wanted to perform the Ken combo, but then little did I know that Smash 4 didn't have no Ken combo. So yes, Smash Ultimate Community, which was, which before was the Smash Wii U community, is always going to be entangled with Melee. Where's Smash 4 now? Let me ask you that question. Where's Smash 4 now? Is there is there a community for Smash 4? No, we moved on to Ultimate. But Melee has been alive and kicking since 2001, 19 years already. So why should we support them? Why should we start the movement hashtag free Melee? Because as much of the differences we've used to have, we have formed wonderful historic moments, like when Leffen beat Salem, how Melee proved the community wrong and survived COVID by having a rollback online feature mod called Project Slippy, which pretty sure inspired Project Yuzu. Now let's get to Project Yuzu or whatever you want to call it. I don't know much of it, but I know it's supposed to be like Smash Ultimate's version of Project Slippy. That's just a testament to how bad Smash Ultimate Online is. It's no surprise. It's no, it's no mystery that Smash Ultimate Online isn't optimal. It's not. And for the people that are banking on this Yuzu version of Smash Ultimate Online that is set to feel like it's offline, it's over. Yeah, it's still going to be released. But the hopes and dreams of Project Yuzu ever being part of EVO or the big house or being used in any major tournament is done. 
It's gone. You really think that Nintendo isn't going to file a cease and desist on them? If Project Yuzu is used in an online tournament like a major? They're doing it for a, for a 19-year-old game. Of course they're going to do it. Of course they're going to do it for like their newest Smash Ultimate franchise. This is why I made this video. Because whether you were inspired by the 2013 Melee Evo or the Melee Tournament or the Melee Documentary or Project Slippy inspiring the people, inspiring the developers to do Project Yuzu. This affects all of us. Not just the Melee community. But all of us. But even worse for the Melee community because they don't have an online feature. This can literally be the end of Melee, guys. No joke. Daddy had to talk. Daddy had to say something. Because we can't keep our mouth shut. We got to support the Melee boys. We can't allow Nintendo to take credit for the community we've all built. Because we've seen it time and time again that they'll turn our back on us and throw us under the bus. Right now, it's Melee. What's next? This is your boy X. And if you were inspired by Melee in any way, shape, or form, let me know in the comment section down below. Share this video, because the word needs to be spread. This is your boy X, and I'm out here. This is a stupid dope mix. <laughs>